How you doing today? I hope you are doing good. The ceremony would be start shortly, so please take your seat in hurry and kindly switch your phone to the silent mode. Thank you for your kind cooperation and attention. Thank you for your joining us today. Your presence means that you care a lot about us. I am a representative of Reza Way HOD Center. Would like to take the express to my sincere appreciation in particular to Mrs. Won Ji He, the deputy director of Khoi Gang, and Mr. Sok Chang Kyu, the chairman of WebK Group. Former Ambassador Mr. Kim Han Su, Lok Chum Tia Pan Vi Mul, Dr. Kim Tae Kyung, the Director of Korea Way HD Center, and all generally distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as well as Korea Way HD instructor and student. HD student, as you know that. Every journey has its end, and every path does stop somewhere. During training in nine months, include basic course and advanced course, you have learned many subjects, and also had many fun and entertaining activity, like sport event and monthly parties. More than that, you have to complete your project. That you might not know that your project can have good influence in Cambodia society one day in the future. And some project now are contributing to Cambodia online quiz platform like Lumhead, and some are contributing to an integration of my digital high school document like Super. And now, you have come to the end of the journey. However, this only marks the end of training of advanced course. But not the knowledge and practice in using what you have learned, which should be carried on and enhanced further. And also work hard in your future careers. Today is such a great day to celebrate the meaningful and unforgettable event. He is Lancy, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the event called closing ceremony of sixth generation of IT expert of Korea Soviet HD Center. Please give a warm welcome to. HOD Center closing ceremony. Please welcome. Before we proceed further this afternoon, I would like to announce the first agenda for the ceremony. First is group chairman will be present by Mr. Ho Ling Ho, following by group Lom Hat, Mr. Chan Chai Ya. We'll give the detail about that service, and then Group Knong Dai, Miss Chia Dalin, will be presentation about that service. After that, Group Mat Nia, Miss Ho Si Da, will give the detail presentation about that service. After that, Group Mep Tia, will present by Miss Nak Bo Vle. And the last project is Cambodian e-identity. We are present by Mr. Ren Radhi. And after that, we will have a coffee break and networking for 15 minutes. He Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, let us now continue with watching and listening to the project presentation and demonstration by our student. So I would like to give the honor stake to sixth group to do the presentation 
about their final project, which developed by sixth generation students of Korea Survey HD Center, that they have put in all their effort into developing the project. In order to make a project success, some night they have to stay up until the morning to make to complete a test to make a project success. There are six interesting project topics which implement by iOS, Android, React Native, Spring Boot Framework, and Blockchain, such as Group Seapal, that is an integration of Khmer Digital High School document, and to provide the Khmer document content to high school students. Following by Group Lumhat, that is Cambodian online quiz platform, M2 enhance learner knowledge by doing fun quiz. And then Group Knong Dai is Cambodian search engine, M2 search any website in Cambodia. And, and then Group Mutne, the Khmer School Mail Social Networking Service, M2 reconnect your old and new friend. And then Group Map there, the Khmer food, uh, the food is a free content in Cambodia. And the last interesting project is called Cambodian Air Entity. M2 provide M2 digitalize the citizen identity using blockchain technology. So now please give a warm welcome to uh, our presenter. Please welcome. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hu Ling Hock, and today I am very delighted to have a chance to present all of you about our projects that change the way of reading in digital eras. So everyone must attend. Huh? Sorry. And here is the content for today's presentation. I will guide you from the introduction to the conclusion. So everyone must attend high school. To me, high school life was very amazing. In high school, we all studied the same things and the same subjects, such as math, chemistry, biology, and so on. So to do well and gain more knowledge in high school, you have to read a lot of books, do a lot of exercise. So for decades, from generation to generation, high school life is getting more and more modernized. That's why our sixth generation student developed a web application called Super. Super is a web application which was developed in the purpose of sharing books from student to student. Students can upload their book on Silpro and another student they can download or read it with free of charge. Since it is a web application, surely it was developed for targeting desktop users. But students these days, they bring smartphone everywhere they go. So they can access to Silpro from the smartphone too. But this is what smartphone look like on a, a smart, uh, this is what Silpro look like on a smartphone. It's very small, right? Yes, and it is very hard to interact with the small button. And furthermore, users cannot see clear content on the web application, which force them to zoom in and out every time they want to see or interact with anything. That's why it's not a friendly user interface. In addition, the most important thing is it's very hard to read on a small screen like this without full screen reading mode. And user has no access to shortcuts like go to page. Imagine if you want to read the page 100 in the book, you have to scroll all the way there. It's very tiring, right? And another thing, for mobile, they cannot download the document from Silpro. So to solve all those problems, our team has decided to build a mobile application of Silpro. Silpro is a mobile application, which is an integration of my digital high school document that provide rich features to solve a boss problem like bookstore, book detail, personal library, reading now, and so on. Bookstore provide best books for high school students and also the most popular book that read by many other students. Students can search for the book they need or go to the category of their choice. In book detail, users can gain more information of the book or they can share it on social media with their friend, 
or download it and keep it in your personal library. In personal library, we list down all the books the user has downloaded. So they can access to those books anywhere, anytime, without the internet connection. And another useful feature is reading now. Reading now is the feature that remember the page you read. If you are reading a book, then you stop reading it to, so, to do something else, and later on you come back and read that, that book again. Reading now will bring you to the exact same page where you left last time you read that book. So ladies and gentlemen, to make you know more clearly about your product, I have prepared a video demonstration. Please enjoy watching the video. ແຂກກຳເພຍໄງນັ້ນຄູປະລອງໃຫ້ນໍາຫມួយຍົມຍົມດອງຈອງຍັນນະແຂກປະເຕງຈັ່ງຍົມຖືຜັງມືອັນ
So here's the content that I am going to talk today. So at first, I would like to introduce to all of you about Loomhat. Loomhat is a Cambodian online quiz platform which created us a web application in 2017 by Korea Soviet Age Audit Center. The purpose of Loomhat is to provide an easy way for students to do quiz online. In Loomhat, there are three main majors such as information technology, English, and Korean. With these three main major, we have categorized into the level. And we have a sub-major, and in a sub-major, we have a lot of subjects. In each subject, we have a lot of quizzes, and in each quiz, we have a lot of questions. So today, Loomhat has 5,500 5, questions. So the user should be enjoy doing and testing their ability with Loomhat. And nowadays, Loomhat is continuing to have the education field in Cambodia. The user come to visit the website and do the quiz. And after launching one year, we have got the result, and we have seen that we should increase our potential more. So what have we got? The first thing, according to the Google Analytics, there's about 50% of users are open and using Loomhat website on the phone. As I mentioned about, Loomhat is a web application. So sometimes it's not convenient to open it on the phone. But it is good when you open it on the computer. In contrast, computer is not convenient to carry with it all the time. Because students are very busy with their learning, and they must carry many, ex many accessories to school, like book, bag, computer, and many more. Sometimes they are bored with those things. As the way I have seen, I saw them using smartphone for learning and researching instead of using the computer. That's it, the point. But another important point is more people are tending to use the mobile app. Why do I have to say that? This is the evidence. According to the Open Institute research report about phone in Cambodia, there are 90% of Cambodian people use smartphone. And related to the social medium, especially Facebook, there are 80% of Cambodian people access to Facebook through the phone, whereas only 3% through the computer. So granted, it doesn't take much longer. It doesn't take much longer to load uh, the web browser on the phone. People need an easy way to access the content directly, and people need a, an easy way to access the content directly. So now, that's why the reason Loomhat mobile app has been created, to solve all of the problem. So now, if you want to practice with Loomhat, you can download the app uh, on your phone and practice everywhere, every time. Everybody. And now let me describe about the useful feature of Loomhat mobile app. The first feature is the core feature, is doing quiz. We provide a multiple choice question for the user with three main major. And we provide the translated instruction in Khmer language. For example, when the user do the Korean quiz, some users do not understand what is it in Korean meaning. So we translate it into Khmer language already to make you to make easy, to make user easy to understand. And especially we provide the time remaining to make users know that how much they have to spend for doing quiz and how much time less while they are doing quiz. And when the user choose the wrong answer, it will show the correct answer immediately. And after finish doing quiz, it will alert the score to the user. So when everything has been finished and has been finished, Loomhat will record your doing quiz into a history. That it is a feature allow you to see what quizzes you have done, and you also can redo the quiz again. The last but not least is user profile. Before you can use Loomhat mobile app, you must log in by using your Facebook account. And then you can see your information and update your information. So everybody, to make you clarify more about Loomhat mobile app, we also prepare a video demonstration.
ตาไปตรงนู้นนะเป็นไหมเนาะเป็นไหมเขาไอ้ตาจะจังหวะไอ้ตาจูจากบ้านจานจังกลองแห่งก่อนจอกก่อนตายก่อนตายอย่างเมื่อก่อนตายไม่เห็นช้อนอ่ะต้องมองแนวตรงไหนโอ้โหมีไอ้เจ้าปีบะเตอร์จังตาจุ้ยตัวแม่ช่วยมาอย่างนี้อ๋อตามีหรือบอกอย่างนี่แน่จากการประปราแอมบูคัดหนึ่งฉันนี่เรื่องจากโชคแต่ละดงไม่เหลือเลยจังใจสะกดสวัสดีทุกคนหลังจากที่คุณได้ดูวิดีโอเดโมฉันหวังว่าคุณจะเข้าใจมากขึ้นเกี่ยวกับลมหัดโมบายแอปเมื่อฉันเล่าเรื่องราวลมหัดมีหลายประโยชน์ที่น่าสนใจแต่เราไม่ได้จบที่นี้เราก็ยังมีแผนที่จะเพิ่มเติมในอนาคตผลแผนแรกจะเป็นเกี่ยวกับการเรียนภาษาอังกฤษและภาษาอังกฤษเราจะเข้าไปที่การเรียนเรียนและเขียนคำถามลมหัดให้กับผู้ใช้ Doing like that will improve student ability to practice more with Lumhat. And one of the special of future plan is high school quiz. Actually, Lumhat is created for Cambodian student. So we will add a quiz related to the high school subject like mathematics, physics, chemistry, and biology. So everyone, if we imagine that time, how awesome of Lumhat mobile app. All of you, to sum up for today, l o m h a t is a wonderful platform that provides knowledge and an easy way for students to do quiz online. And the user can choose the specified major among the three main major, such as information technology, English, and Korean. And the best for today, l o m h a t is now available on the store. Thus, you can download it from App Store and Play Store for using. Everybody, practice does not make perfect. Only perfect practice make perfect. So challenge yourself with l u m h a t Before my presentation coming to the end, I want to say thank you to all of my team members, both iOS and Android, for having a good cooperation to complete this project successfully. And thank you for your attention. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chia Dalin. I'm honored to be here today that I'm responsible for a presentation about the way people search websites on the internet. And the project today that I bring to all of you is called Knong Dai. Now, I'm going to explain the deep detail about this project through the seven main points, from introduction until conclusion. Everyone, nowadays, we are living in the modern world. So everything is all about technology, especially when people want to find something on the internet. They always think about search engine. So what search engine is? Search engine is a software or system which is designed to carry out web search, which means that 
All those search engines provide us so many results related to keyword research. Meanwhile, we all have search engines in our fingertips that people are getting used to have their device in their hand to search information or website they want with some search engines such as Google, Bing, Yahoo, and so on. However, all those search engines provide us hundreds of thousand results, which is not specified to Cambodian websites. Thus, it is still not fit to Cambodian people's interest and their demand. To solve this problem, Knong Dai was invented in 2017, which was developed by the fifth generation students of Korea Software Age or the Center in main purpose to search websites in our local. And currently, Knong Dai contains around 10,000 websites. On the other hand, due to user experience, people generally use smartphone and bring it with them everywhere and every time. Furthermore, they prefer using application rather than using website via their phone. For example, when they want to access to Knong Dai website, the one point is that they have to remember properly about the link access to Knong Dai. And to make it more convenient for a user, more with user experience, our team decided to develop Knong Dai application into mobile platform that we use a hard technology which is called Reanative to develop application on Android and on iOS. So now, to make you more clearly about how useful of Knong Dai is, let's move on to the feature. The first main feature is search and filtering, which provides an easy way for a user to search websites by searching keywords we choose from word suggestion, and they can also select from the listing category and select from the listing popular keyword as well. Besides this, we also provide user many other important features, but at first, user have to log in by verifying their phone number. After that, with this search history feature, we let user to search take a look at what they have searched before. And then, with this register web, new website, which lets users to register new website into our database. And then, when someone search related to their website keyword, will show up in the listing result. Last but not least, user will get notification after their request new website is approved. So now, to make you better understanding about our project, I've prepared a video demonstration to all of you. So please enjoy. Mm. <coughs> ហើយគេនឹងមើលនេះសូមមើលទេណាហោះនឹងមើលហើយមើលញឹងយូរបើមើលក្នុងដៃមកល្អហ្នឹងមើលហើយគេឲ្យមកស្គាល់ផងណា
After watching the video, I hope you can understand more clearly about our project. As you can see that, Knong Dai provides many useful and very powerful for a user. And to make Knong Dai more convenient, we are planning on adding more tool features, one of which is voice search, which provides an easy way for a user to search by recording their voice. And another feature is picture search, which means that user can capture a photo which contains what, and that's what is being tracked to search. To sum up, Knong Dai is the first search engine for Cambodian websites. In main purpose to search websites in our local, and we are strongly believed with the improving of Knong Dai will be the best assistant for Cambodian people to search whatever they are looking for and specify to Cambodian websites. Before my presentation comes to an end, I'd like to say thanks very much for my team member for their working hard on this project together. And now, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ho Chida. Today, I'm really happy that I have an opportunity to be here. And now, I will express all of you an interesting social networking service for Cambodian people you to reconnect with their old friend. This application is called Mutnia. Here are the main points of content that I will introduce all of you from interaction through conclusion. Normally, since childhood until now, all people have gone through many stages of life and has met a lot of friends who we used to share many kinds of experience with. As time goes by, we will move on and meet new friends. So we may take those old friends for granted. Since we unconsciously tend to forget their life, who used to stay with us most of the time, and how good they have been to us. We also forget the things related to them as well, including their personal information and their contact information. Sometimes we are alone and feel lonely, so we may, fight, so we may make those old friends for... Sorry. Um. Sometimes we are alone and feel lonely. We will feel nostalgic to recall many things, especially friends we used to know before. So we may feel the urge to reconnect with them once again. Everybody, have you ever feel like that? If you feel like that, how can you reconnect with them? I think there are many ways that can reconnect with your old friend, but I will raise two ways that people like to use. The first one is phone number. You, you may be use your friend's phone number to call them directly. But what happens when your friend change their phone number? You cannot use this way to reconnect with them. So if you re really miss them, you will find another way like social networking, such as Facebook or Instagram to reconnect with them. But in the real world, nothing is perfect. Social networking still has problems, like when you search you will get a lot of results with the same information. It will make you difficult to determine which result that you want. And another problem is language. Some people put their name in Latin, and some people put their name in Khmer, and another people put their name in weird spelling. So you may not be able to find them. To solve all of these problems, Mudnia as web application was created in 2017 by Korea Software HOD Center student. Mudnia is the first networking service for Cambodian people used to reconnect with their old friend. To reconnect with old friend, Mudnia use a special algorithm is when you become Mudnia user, it will add you into three groups automatic colleagues. Those groups are primary school group, secondary school group, and high school group. As you already know, we already have Mutnet as web application, but it is not stable in use. It still has some problems, like limitation of functionality. For example, as you can see in this picture, it already has notification, but it is not real-time notification. 
And another problem is it is available only web version. And people nowadays like to use phone rather than computer. To improve Mutnet service, our team has decided to create Mutnet as a mobile application and update web previous version. Here are what we have done with mobile application. We built this application to make more convenient in use, like better user experience, interesting user interface, and always provide real-time notification. Here are what we have done. Here are what we have updated with web version. With this new version, we update on user interface, so user can use it easier and looks better. As well, we also update on performance and real-time notification. Together with these projects, it has some features such as user registration. This feature provides full security for users to register or log into Mutnet service. We provide two ways for users via Facebook or via phone numbers. After they become Mutnet user, they can post email status or post email and status on their timeline or in group. If you post in group, your friend can see your post in their group feed. After that, if your friend want to react their feeling, they can like and comment. Moreover, if you want to make more friends, you can add friends. After your friend confirm request, you will get notification immediately. And another notification will send when your friend like and comment or post in group. And the last feature is user profile. You can see your friend information your friend gallery, and friend of your friend as well. To make you more understand about this project, our team has prepared a video demonstration. Please enjoy it. Hello. Hello, Rodana. Hello, Ihan. Say the name. Nang ai the name tasai. Ta the name share line đó mày. Can tới dưới nè. Nang ai sai chậm tới chăng? Nhầm miệng ông sắp đá nè. Ok, chậm sai chút cái này chăng. Bye. Rồi nãy chăm man nè. Can thằng đi đáp á. Đỡ rồi cái này bán men. Thanh chăm. Bà dương lên bao cho anh kia là hôn à Nó cũng đang đó này Bà dương nghĩa à Lên từ sau vào đô Rồi tẹo tông cái điểm bán sao Ô, lọt đăng Tên ăn á Ô, y hàn Ô, nhưng mà sẽ là ta Ở lấy em hiệp tự tiêu với nhé Ô, ô, khăn chụp nha dưới tầng Tầng cô dưới nha lên chắc này Tờ Tờ Cô ý năng ấy Nì, sẽ phải dưới đây mẹn Lạ đang, sẽ phải được bắt bắt rồi Hãy cho người ta ai phải thay mình đây không đang ở Nì mẹn Oh my god, hổ khế nha Ừ, lạ đang ô mẹ Cả đá ý kế nâng Vì chi cả đá ai phải thay mình được bỏ mệt nè Hai vì chi sẽ phải cầm bỏ mai dân nâng Ồ, hai sự quý nâng bà nằm bây thù ấy Ồ, cả đá ní mẹn Ồ, anh ấy vì chi sẽ bị thù mây mùi bỏ mai dân Đôi đã đang bọt bàn dậy mình chẳng Kê bà kát biết nông cơm nông nông bè bộ dưỡng bà chọt tùm nẹ tùm nâng tà can mật phẹ chá chá Ú thò đôi chìa bà chọt tà can mật phẹ nâng bà thòm rư co nà nụ bà chìa lại rư co nà bà chìa lại Đôi bà dưỡng ở lại bài khá nè hay chẳng kê bà kát ẹp nâng lạc nông bè dưỡng ai bà chọt tùm nẹ tùm nâng tà can mật phẹ chá chá bò dưỡng Ừm, xử lý nâng nhìn khóa phở ta Tại vì đôi dọt xơ xô phở sao Ồ, bài phơi ý, mật nẹ lấy kì mên update Nghĩ xưa luôn là không cao bà tại mẹ đoàn Ồ, của chào đó mẹ À, chùi bà hai nhóm biệt biệt bà 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 nó Ồ, đấy, chào nhóm bà hai của bà đây
After watching this video, I hope you more understand about smart net service. To improve more, uh, my team has decided to keep this feature in the future plan, such as online status, chat to friend, post multiple image, and post video. In conclusion, Mutnet is the first is the so, so, is the social networking service for Cambodian people used to reconnect with their old friends. It is available both web and mobile platform. If you want to reconnect with your old friend, think about Mutnet. Before my presentation comes to an end, I would like to thank for iOS, Android, and Spring Team for the hard working to complete this project. Now my presentation comes to the end. Thank you for your attention. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nok Bovalet. And I am here today to proudly present a project that makes cooking accessible for everyone. So let's dive deep into the thought process and a project itself, as well as a future it will hold, which reside within this seven point. Well, first of all, food is very important and it's also a fact, essential part of our daily life. We consume them so our body could break them down into energy and various nutrients to help sustain our body. However, some people still don't care too much about their eating habit, which lead them to unhealthy from what they consume. Because they have a different problem like other people just know to cook only a few types of recipe. And some people are busy with their daily work and prefer to eat out over home cooked meal. And another reason is lack of recipe content in our local language. But all the problem about was resolved with a MapDev website which provides a food recipe for everyone. And from what we can see, this is not enough to finish this. In 2018, the majority, 95% of the people, are using a smartphone to satisfy their requirement. And according to comscore.com, which said mobile users spend 86% of their time on a mobile app and just 14% of the time on a website. Regard to this statistic, we can all estimate that most of the people prefer to use mobile application over a website. Conversely, with a MapDev website, if users rarely to visit, they cannot get up to date with the latest of food recipe, so it might want keeping hold on the user. Not only with this problem, but it also doesn't have a push notification, which is difficult to notify user. And unfortunately, our service hasn't provided in that particular type of application yet. So due to the bundle of the problem above, we decided to develop a special application, which is called MapTear. MapTear is a mobile application that implemented based on React Native, which is a JavaScript framework that natively rendering mobile application for iOS and Android. MapTear application provide more convenient user experience, much faster, and tend to be more advanced in terms of feature and functionality. Especially, it is really useful for people to obtain a new style of cooking. In addition, our content are based on Khmer language, so it is really easy for users to find the recipe which they wanted to make. As well as with this project, we also have a great feature such as a filter. A user can filter food by cooking material. This kind of filtering can be particularly helpful where there are many contents and users want to find their needed. If they don't want to filter, here is a soic feature that we search for a specific food. And each of the food recipe, surely we have a view for display of video and a food description, which describe the ingredient and the content how to make a food. Together with this application, a user can sign up or log in by their phone number to verify their personal account. 
And after that, they can feel free to comment in every food content and also share that to their Facebook account. Besides of that, we also have a notification which will alert to a user when there are a new food and when other user has also comment on the same content. Now, to give you more clearly about this project, I also have prepared a short video demonstration, so please enjoy together. ไอ้สิไปอ๋อพันนั้นส่งสิไปอ่ะเตยนานะยมรอเติมซาเติมหอบสรับยมจ้องแม่กับเทิมหอบยมลงนายจังบ่เมื่อมนุษย์ตําเ
had to go directly to local administration in order to request submission form to register. Then, local administrator will verify their information. From this step, citizens have to wait. Local administration submit their sub paper form to Department of Identity. And Department of Identity will verify their information and issue the national ID card to the local administration and local administration will send it to the citizen. If you take a claim on the board process, we cannot see the overwhelming experience a person offers because registration is very complicated. Citizen has to bring along all physical reference document and us, such as budget certificate, family record book, or resident book. And they also need to go through many paperwork. Especially, they have to physically present themselves in the local, in the local administration office. Obomation is not the only problem. After they submit their document, they cannot track their submission process. The solution for them now is they need to wait until all relevant authority verify and approve the national ID card. I think everyone would be here. So what is going on with this process? So that's why we would like to propose a system to solve this problem, that is Cambodian e-identity. Cambodian e-identity is the system that offers digital ID instead of physical ID for citizens based on blockchain network using high pleasure fabric. So let me briefly explain about the blockchain. What is blockchain? Blockchain is a technology that based on the centralized network with the block of information. And now I will explain about difference between centralized and decentralized. Normally, centralized is being used in many systems. For example, like the bank. The bank holds the transaction and user's data. So all users access to the bank. But one time, hacker access to the system and destroy the data. So what happened? All the user cannot have, uh, sorry. So the user have no longer to access the data. For another hand, for the central line network, it's the network that have multiple server in the network and hold the same copy of data. And if the hacker want to attack the data, so user still have access to their data. Actually, now let me talk about the benefits of the blockchain. The first one, distributed data storage. It means that all relevant and authority have the same copy of data. So no matter what happened, they still have the copy of data. The second point is immutability. The immutability can secure data from any modification. And it also non-counterfeitable. It means that citizen and relevant authority can trust with each other without fraud. With this system can provide many great features such as digitize the optimizing and issuing process. It means that this will improve working process and reduce time consuming tasks of the issue the ID card. Moreover, identity and cramming with discrete rate of cram related to the identity. The third feature is eliminated physical ID card. Yes, from now, you don't need to bring the physical ID card anymore. And the special feature is trackable submission. Yes, submission process. Any submission process will come weeks after the check-in status. So you can catch up with your request. To be clear about the system, I have prepared a video demonstration. So please enjoy together.
tahu. Memunya. Eh, apa ini? Thì mới số làm mãn không biết là khi mà khỏi nữa nha Còn tâm bốn rồi nó sâu nữa Ai nấy sâu làm bốn Máu Làm mãn đúng không? Còn bốn Lấy chạm một lát rồi Nhưng được số mây nữa Lấy mấy điểm quán bay quán đại Nó Tốn mây đại nè Đại rồi Người dưỡng Mây ơn Lấy mình gần không mây bố Nè Còn đây mình vô tại nhiệt bán rồi Tại nhiệm bán hô cần nát đấy nè Hô cần nát mây chai hô cần nát Mây nè Thì hô cần nát đấy Thưa ạt cao đi Đấy thưa mấy mẹ thưa thưa mấy mẫu hay Được thưa thưa mấy mẫu Đây bái thưa mà to nhóm thưa nhóm mà vô bây Ở đây giờ Nhưng tên tên nhá cũng phát Ok ok Bọn hình xung bọn Mùi 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 xung bọn Bên đó này, chẳng dưng thì bên đó tới đưa hào vậy Ông ta, ông ta lấy đưa mưa đợi Đừng hết nha, dù hết Chẳng phụ Ok, con chẳng phụ So, alright, the Cambodian e-identity provides many great features, but today we do not stop here. We, we have some plans to implement more powerful than this. So in the future, we plan to implement on mobile device integration to make users friendly to register digital ID by their smartphone. Besides this one, we would like to include fingerprint feature in our future plan as well. And the last one, we plan to implement on iris scanner compatible to make easier for citizens using their iris to represent their identity. To sum up, Cambodian e-identity is a system that offer digital ID, uh, sorry, that offer digital ID based on blockchain network. <laughs>
using hybrid gel fabric. And we hope strongly that with a, uh, sorry, with a secure and privacy. After our system implement, we hope that the overwhelming procedure of the opening and its through the ID card is eliminated. Additionally, identification and redesignation is improved. And the last one, we hope that criminal rate will be decreased. The last but not least, I would like to say thank you for team member and mentor for their hard work to complete this project. It coming the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.